team right now yes sir you can start yeah hi everyone good evening good evening sir good evening so am i audible yes sir okay so let me share my screen first so today we are going to discuss about procurement in construction so hope you are all civil engineers or having some experience into the industry so you must be knowing about the term or you get to know about the term after the session hello yeah so uh, coming to procurement so what do you understand by procurement like uh, uh, after seeing the name uh, like a procurement in construction you have joined this session so what exactly you guys want from this session that i would like to understand so that i can deliver uh, in that manner or we can discuss it uh, much better so anyone will tell purchase or storage like yeah purchase right anyone else you can you can answer anything whatever is coming in your mind you can just tell me so procurement is the process for uh buying the things that are required in for construction yeah right buying the things which are required for construction yes right anyone else okay uh let me start and uh, so uh, i will try to tell you everything about procurement uh, in this limited time and whatever you want to ask or you have any specific question so you can ask me in between or later if that is uh, uh, not directly related to the presentation or we can sit down directly related to the procurement field so coming to our first slide so what is procurement so procurement is the process of obtaining products or services from external stakeholders to ensure that production and business activities are smoothly carried out on a project site so if i uh, explain the procurement so if uh, we can take an example of uh, one house we are uh, you know constructing one house so we will be requiring material like we will be requiring cement sand aggregates and other material also and we will be requiring labor also so procuring those material and services for a construction site that comes under procurement uh, so if we take on a large scale then it will be like getting products and services from external stakeholders external stakeholders are vendors and internal stakeholders are our uh, the people who will be working for the company so and uh, what we will ensure we will ensure that the production and business activity will run smoothly agar hamari site pe maniye कोई काम चल रहा है और उस काम के लिए हमें जो भी मटेरियल चाहिए या मैन पावर चाहिए या कोई स्पेसिफिक काइंड की सर्विस चाहिए तो उन सब को ऑन बोर्ड लाने के लिए जिस फंक्शन का हम यूज करते हैं दैट इज प्रक्योरमेंट यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद बोथ इंग्लिश और हिंदी और इट शुड बी इन इंग्लिश ओनली और हिंदी ओनली वट इन विच कम्फर्टेबल विद बोथ कम्फर्टेबल विद बोथ और दैट्स ग्रेट सो प्रक्योरमेंट बेसिकली यही है कि हमें जो भी सर्विसेज या मटेरियल चाहिए हमारी साइट पे वो टाइमली अवेलेबल हो जाए सो देर आर फाइव डिफरेंट राइट्स ऑफ प्रोक्योरमेंट आर देयर लाइक इफ वी आर डूइंग प्रोक्योरमेंट फॉर एनी मटेरियल एनी सर्विस सो दीज फाइव थिंग्स शुड बी अवेलेबल लाइक द मटेरियल विच वी आर टेकिंग शुड बी ऑफ राइट क्वालिटी राइट क्वालिटी मीन्स दैट द प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी Uh, should be uh, you know matching our standards what is the requirement uh, what is the standard like uh, in aggregate we can take that is 8383 is the required standard code according to that uh, all the strength and crushing strength and everything should be there so that kind of quality parameter should be matched in that material and then second part is quantity like uh, th that material should be available in uh, good quantity or right quantity or we can say required quantity also 
दैट इट शुड बी नॉट बी लाइक दैट कि हमें आज तो मिल गया और कल नहीं मिलेगा वो एंड देन कमिंग टू द थर्ड पार्ट राइट प्राइस सो यस प्राइस इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू एवरी वन एंड एवरी वन यू नो नीड्स दैट द मटीरियल शुड बी एट राइट प्राइस आप भी डेली इवन मार्केट भी जाते हो गए या वैसे भी जाते हो तो यू विल ऑल्सो फील लाइक यू नो एवरी थिंग शुड बी ऑन राइट प्राइस वट एवर मटीरियल आई एम गेटिंग दैट शुड बी ऑन राइट प्राइस and coming to the next part that is right time that the material should be delivered on right time if uh, we are requiring some specific uh, material or we can say some plumbing material uh, uh, after 2 weeks or 3 weeks and that is coming after 6 weeks so then it will be delaying the whole project aap samajh rahe hain jaise agar mere ko aaj tile ki zarurat hai aap maniye ki uh, main apne project mein abhi mere ko tiling ki zarurat hai to main tile pehle hi procure karke rakh lunga aisa nahi hoga ki aaj mere ko tile lagani aaj hi tile chahiye to fir main market jaake aur tile leke aata hu jaisa hum hamare ghar mein karte hai generally choti chhota jo bhi kaam hota hai lekin jo bade projects hote hain ya bade infrastructure projects hote hain to unme kya hota hai material ke liye pehle hi planning hoti hai to jo material hai wo right time pe aana chahiye and right place so all the goods and services should be delivered at right place आजकल आपने सुना होगा बहुत ज्यादा आपने लास्ट माइल करके एक टर्म चल रहा है जो सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट में बहुत ज्यादा यूज हो रहा है ऑल द कंपनीज आर टारगेटिंग कि हम लास्ट माइल डिलीवरी देते हैं हम फास्ट डिलीवरी देते हैं वी आर गिविंग डिलीवरी आपने देखा होगा इवन स्विगी या इंस्टा मार्ट वगैरह वी आर गिविंग डिलीवरी विद इन ट्वेंटी मिनट सो दिस लास्ट टाइम लास्ट माइल डिलीवरी एवरी वन इज वर्किंग ऑन दैट थिंग सो दीज आर द मेन फाइव we can say part of the uh, procurement thing if we are procuring any material so these five things should be present in uh, that thing so uh, if uh, these uh, five parameters are there so we can they yeah we have procured it uh, nicely okay uh, so anyone uh, want to ask anything about uh, the definition of the procurement or should i move ahead okay so i think there is no doubt uh, to anyone or you can ask later also so coming to the next At part please once yeah please yeah please tell me once again procurement sir okay so procurement procurement hai jaise aap aapne aapko apna ghar banana hai theek hai aapko ghar banane ke liye kya kya cheezon ki zarurat padegi aapko ghar banane ke liye ब्रिक्स की जरूरत होगी आपको सीमेंट की जरूरत होगी आपको सैंड की जरूरत होगी आपको बाकी सेनेटरी फिक्सचर्स की जरूरत होगी आपको टाइल्स की जरूरत होगी आपको मार्बल की जरूरत होगी तो ये सारे भी जो भी चीजें आप खरीदोगे अपने घर बनाने के लिए राइट तो आप ये जो भी चीजें अपने घर बनाने के लिए खरीदोगे अगर मैं उसी को एक बड़े प्रोजेक्ट के लिए बोलू लाइक आप मानिए जैसे कोई भी बिल्डर एक पूरी सोसाइटी बना रहा है तो सिक्स हंड्रेड फ्लैक्स इज कंस्ट्रक्टिंग तो अगर वो छे सौ बना रहा है तो उसको छे सौ फ्लैट के लिए टाइल खरीदनी पड़ेगी सबके लिए सीमेंट सैंड एड मिक्सचर और बाकी जो भी सारी चीजें हैं वो सब खरीदना पड़ेगा राइट right? तो ये सब चीजें खरीदने के लिए जिस फंक्शन जो फंक्शन ये सब चीजें प्रोक्योर करता है उसी को हम प्रोक्योरमेंट बोलते हैं और इसके साथ साथ सर्विसेज जैसे मेरे को लेबर की जरूरत पड़ेगी मेरे को टावर क्रेन की जरूरत पड़ेगी मेरे को और किसी सर्विसेज की जरूरत पड़ेगी कुछ पंप वगैरह लगाने हैं प्रोजेक्ट साइट पर डिवाइटरिंग के लिए या मेरे को रेगुलर में कोई आप मानिए कोई टेक्नीशियन चाहिए है मेरे को कि नहीं दिस टेक्नीशियन शुड बी देयर फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्विस तो ये सब और लैब में मेरे को सैंपल्स भेजने हैं तो लैब भी एंगेज करनी पड़ती है तो ये सारी सर्विसेज और मटीरियल इन सब को प्रोक्योर करने के लिए या इन सब को खरीदने के लिए जो हमारा डिपार्टमेंट जिम्मेदार होता है दैट इज प्रोक्योरमेंट ओके अंडरस्टूड और नॉट यस ओके सर तो दैट इज प्रोक्योरमेंट एंड प्रोक्योरमेंट में जो पांच चीजें होनी चाहिए वो है कि हमारा जो मटेरियल है वो अच्छी क्वालिटी का होना चाहिए हमारा जो मटीरियल है वो उतनी क्वान्टिटी में अवेलेबल हो जितनी हमें प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे जरूरत है उसका प्राइस हमें बिल्कुल सही मिले ऐसा ना हो कि आप ब्रिक्स खरीद रहे हैं और ब्रिक्स आप खरीद रहे हैं दस रुपए की मार्केट में अवेलेबल है पांच रुपए की इसका मतलब है कि आप मार्केट से बहुत ज्यादा प्राइस खरीद रहे हैं आपके साथ कभी कभी होता है ना जैसे आप कुछ चीज लेने के लिए गए मानिए आप एक बैग परचेज करने गए आपने देखा कि ये बैग में ले लेता हूँ ये बैग पांच का फिर आप देखते हैं कि 
सेम बैग आपका दोस्त भी लेके आता है बट ही इज टेकिंग एट ए ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिस्काउंट तो वो उसको कम में पड़ गया आपको ज्यादा में पड़ा तो द मटीरियल शुड बी एट राइट प्राइस आप उसका एग्जाम्पल लीजिए कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री में भाई अगर मेरे को एग्रीगेट खरीदना है अगर मैं एग्रीगेट किसी प्लेस पे हजार रुपए मेट्रिक टन में खरीद रहा हूँ और उसकी बजाय कोई आठ सौ रुपए मेट्रिक टन में खरीद रहा है तो दैट इज द प्राइस गैप तो हमें एक राइट right प्राइस पे मटेरियल खरीदना होता है एंड राइट टाइम एंड राइट प्लेस आई है ऑल्सो नव आई थिंक नव एवरी वन है ओके uh now uh, also you know someone's mic is on unmute so better everyone's uh, with that okay so uh, now i think it's fine so coming to the next uh, slide that is standard steps of procurement at a project site aap maniye uh, that uh, some projects have come at a place kisi jagah mein koi project that you also heard that uh, your government have announced uh, this major bridge project or this major housing project in this location so what what uh, then uh, what will be done uh, in case uh, for the procurement team that like how the process of procurement will be started at that project site so the first uh, part of the procurement that is uh, actually someone please please mute your mics yeah so uh, the first step is scope identification so coming coming to scope identification uh, uh, we will define that yes this will uh, mr ganesh please don't uh, try to you know do something uh, on the screen uh, let me explain yeah so first first is scope identification so in scope identification we will be defining yeah. that yes this material is under our scope and this material is under client scope so who will be doing what kind of job so according to that we will plan our procurement like uh, we will be uh, giving some service to contractor then again we will be giving some service to subcontractor and uh, or any specific nominated subcontractor so that kind of you know classification is done so that is called scope identification ठीक है उसके बाद होता है कि दैट्स इफ दैट स्कोप इज आइडेंटिफाइड देन वी विल प्रिपेयर अ स्कोप मैट्रिक्स दैट यस दिस वर्क विल बी डन बाय दिस टीम एंड दिस वर्क विल बी डन बाय दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्टर और दिस सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर देन कमिंग टू थर्ड पार्ट देन स्पेसिफिकेशन वी विल फाइनलाइज द स्पेसिफिकेशन अभी आप यू हैव आल्सो सीन दैट इफ एनी हाई राइजर बिल्डिंग इज कमिंग एंड दैट इज लग्जरी हाई राइजर बिल्डिंग सो द मटेरियल दैट वी विल बी यूजिंग इन दैट काइंड ऑफ विल बी बिल्डिंग विल बी of good brands uh, aap maniye jaise koi high riser building ban rahi hai aur koi uh, ek do high riser tower aap dekhiye apne near around mein ek jo bahut hi luxurious ho jo bahar se bilkul aisa lagta ho ki glass and everything is there in balcony aur dusre wala jo normal ho to what what is the major difference the difference is also in the kind of material procurement तो उसके लिए हमारी स्पेसिफिकेशन अलग होगी इसके लिए हमारी स्पेसिफिकेशन अलग होगी आप भी सोचिए जैसे आप अगर एक मोबाइल परचेज करने जाते हैं तो आप देखते होंगे कि क्या इसमें क्या क्या मेरे को चाहिए इसमें ब्लूटूथ होना चाहिए इसमें ये स्क्रीन ऐसी होनी चाहिए उसके अलावा इतने इंच की स्क्रीन होनी चाहिए ये जैक होना चाहिए ब्लूटूथ के साथ कनेक्टेड होना चाहिए तो देट काइंड ऑफ स्पेसिफिकेशन यू फाइनलाइज कि नहीं ये वाली चीजें तो मेरे को चाहिए ही चाहिए so that uh, finalization is also done in in a case of uh, a project site okay uh, then uh, coming to bill of quantities that how much quantity of that product we will be requiring like if 500 flats are there or one long bridge is there to hame light post kitni chahiye agar flats hain to hame kitne acs chahiye hain 
so wo bill of quantity we will prepare and then after preparing all these things we will take approval from the client ki hum ye specification ka ye material procure karenge aap hame approval de dijiye like i will be using uh, we can say lg ac or gen or general ac of 1.5 ton with this specification and this will be used at project site so that is okay at your part or that is not okay at your part okay so all these things uh, are finalized like sabse pehle humne kya kiya main ek bar hindi mein bhi explain kar deta hu ki humne scope identify kiya ki kon kon kya kya kaam karega uske baad us scope ke hisab se sab ka kaam define kar diya uske baad humne specification finalize ki ki kon se type ka material hame chahiye uske baad us, uh, uski quantity nikal di aur quantity ke baad humne client se approval le liya ओके ओके सर या सो हाँ सो जब हमने क्लाइंट से अप्रूवल ले लिया तो एक आप ये मानिए कि स्टैंडर्ड स्टेप्स हमारी प्रोक्योरमेंट है इसके बीच में हम कई बार एक एक्स्ट्रा स्टेप भी करते हैं दैट इज वी कैन से दैट विल ईज द प्रोक्योरमेंट इन अ लॉन्गर मैनर वो हम क्या करते हैं कि वेंडर प्री क्वालिफिकेशन एंड वेंडर इवेल्युएशन तो वेंडर प्री क्वालिफिकेशन आई कंसीडर की बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है इस प्रोसेस का तो प्री क्वालिफिकेशन और इवेल्युएशन को मैं डिफाइन करता हूं आगे एक्सक्यूज मी सर क्या प्लीज टेल मी सर एक्चुअली कैन यू प्लीज यूज इंग्लिश टू एज सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी ओके सो आई विल बी यू नो टेलिंग वंस इन इंग्लिश एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल कन्वर्ट द सेम थिंग इनटू हिंदी आल्सो दैट विल बी या या इट इज so mm-hmm. i have explained this slide uh, uh, same so next slide i will be explaining in the same way so i consider that the vendor pre qualification and vendor uh, we can say evaluation jo ab maine raat nikala hai yes is one of important step that is also uh, involved in that standard process so pre qualification as the word tells that pre qualification is kind of you know pre screening ki uh, we have some standard set uh already and we will be checking the suppliers against uh, those sets and if they are qualifying uh, those standards then we will be considering that for our project site so that is vendor pre qualification so and uh, what what is the ad, uh, as i told you that i consider this step as a you know major step uh, in that process also so there are uh, some advantages of this pre qualification uh i will be getting to know about the vendors at a earlier stage i have already set a baseline i have already as you know had a uh, kind short of vendors already in my hand that yes this set of vendors i already have and this will also you know minimize the risk of failure or sub standard or non compliance of standard uh, which are we can say which we have to follow so in general if i tell you that in construction industry everyone is done according to some is standard or some uh, we can say astm code so everything is done according to some code or according to some standard guidelines so those guidelines or those standards we already check with some vendors and if those vendors qualifies those standards so we will be considering that for our whole project okay so now coming to hindi to hum vendors ki pre qualification karte hain मतलब हम वेंडर्स की क्वालिफिकेशन चेक करते हैं कि ये वेंडर हमारे इस प्रोजेक्ट के लिए ये मटेरियल इस स्पेसिफिकेशन का दे पाएगा या नहीं दे पाएगा तो जो भी हमारी रिक्वायर्ड सेट जैसे क्लाइंट से जो भी टेंडर में डिटेल्स मेंशनड हैं ऑलरेडी तो हम उनके अकॉर्डिंग चेक कर लेते हैं कि ये हमारे सेट ऑफ वेंडर्स हैं जो हमें ये मटीरियल दे पाएंगे और अगर कोई दे पाता है तो वी विल इंक्लूड हिम इन द लिस्ट अगर नहीं दे पाएगा तो वी कैन एक्सक्लूड तो इससे हमें लॉन्ग टर्म में फायदा क्या होता है कि जब हम प्रोजेक्ट कर रहे होते हैं तो हमारे पास ऑलरेडी सेट ऑफ वेंडर्स हैं हमें नए वेंडर ढूंढने की जरूरत नहीं है तो ये मेजर एडवांटेज रहता है दूसरा ये होता है कि मेरे पास ऑलरेडी अगर वेंडर्स हैं तो आई कैन आस्क देम की यू आर रेगुलरली डूइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ जॉब सो यू कैन प्रोक्योर दिस काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल फॉर मी इजिली इफ आई गिवन यू ऑर्डर फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल तो रिस्क काफी कम हो जाता है ठीक है एंड देन कमिंग टू द सेकेंड पार्ट वेंडर इवेल्युएशन सो वेंडर इवेल्युएशन क्या है जब हम मानिए हमने एक प्रोजेक्ट उस सिटी में या उस एरिया में पहले ही किया 
और हमारे पास वो सेट ऑफ वेंडर्स हैं ऑलरेडी तो हम उनको परफॉर्मेंस के हिसाब से भी वेल्यूएट कर सकते हैं ये वाली चीज आती है जब आपने वेंडर्स के साथ ऑलरेडी काम कर लिया हो प्री क्वालिफिकेशन आता है जब आपने चाहे काम ना किया हो आप सिर्फ स्टैंडर्ड्स के हिसाब से चेक कर रहे हो उसे ठीक है सो वेंडर इवेल्युएशन इज अ सिस्टम फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग एंड रैंकिंग द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ सप्लायर्स इन वेरियस टर्म्स वी कैन से इट विल इंक्लूड दैट या वेंडर इज डिलीवरिंग द मटीरियल इन हाउ मच टाइम वेंडर इज प्रोवाइडिंग द क्वालिटी मटीरियल और नॉट so uh, and uh, vendor is providing the material on time so all the five parts will come in place and we will evaluate the vendors that aisa to nahi hai ki if market is going on we can say suddenly price in increase and vendor is also saying no sir i will not be able to supply the material uske paas utna stock hai ya nahi hai he have the capacity uh, to buy something for us ya nahi hai maniye humne use 50 crore ka order de diya but he is not capable of doing work of even 10 10 करोड़ तो ये सारी चीजें हम चेक करते हैं तो ऐसे ही वेंडर इवेल्युएशन के भी बहुत ज्यादा फायदे हैं अगर मैंने एक प्रोजेक्ट पे कर लिया तो नेक्स्ट पे मैं उन्हीं सेट ऑफ वेंडर्स के साथ काम कर सकता हूँ मेरे को ऑलरेडी पता है कि दीज वेंडर्स विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग स्टैंडर्ड मटेरियल विच इज रिक्वायर्ड एट अवर प्रोजेक्ट साइट ओके एंड इट विल ऑल्सो वी कैन से समिफिक काइंड ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट इज देयर एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो सपोर्ट इन दैट काइंड ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑल्सो so this is a major part which i consider for a procurement uh, process at a starting of a project okay so uh, now if you want to ask any question related to these two topics you can ask. i have completed my uh, presentation yeah please tell me so anybody want to ask any question related to vendor pre qualification and vendor evaluation यू पीपल कैन आस्क एनी थिंग मतलब आपके मन में कोई भी डाउट आ रहा है आप पूछ सकते हैं मेरे से चाहे कुछ भी हो कैसा भी डाउट हो सी बिकॉज प्रक्योरमेंट एक ऐसा प्रोसेस है जिसमें यू हैव टू बी यू नो वेरी अजाइल ऑल्सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी ऑल्सो आपको सब देख के चलना होता है आपको मार्केट भी देखना होता है आपको प्रीवियस प्राइसेस भी देखने होते हैं आपको करंट प्राइसेस भी देखने होते हैं आपको टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशन भी चेक करनी होती है तो आप कुछ भी पूछ सकते हैं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि ओनली रिलेटेड टू दिस स्पेसिफिक प्री क्वालिफिकेशन और इवेल्युएशन यू आर हैविंग सम डाउट एंड यू आर नॉट आस्किंग जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ हेजिटेशन आप कुछ भी पूछिए आई विल ट्राई टू आंसर दैट and if i will not be able to uh, you know uh, answer it right now i will answer it later and uh, pro trainee team uh, team uh, will provide you the answer through mail or uh, through other channels also so aap jo bhi kyunki kya hai ki uh, right now i'm presenting it will be much better when you will be discussing things i will be telling things so jo dis- i i will consider not it as a you know session or something i i want it as a discussion ki hamara aur aapka discussion ho and आप कुछ सीख के जाएं एंड यस आई कैन आल्सो लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम यू हेलो सर या प्लीज टेल मी सर वेयर फ्रॉम द वेंडर्स गेट मटेरियल्स सी आप ये समझिए कि जैसे आपने घर खरीदा ठीक है मान लीजिए आपने घर खरीद लिया है अब आपको उस घर में रहना है तो घर में रहने के लिए आपको उस घर में फर्नीचर की जरूरत पड़ेगी राइट right? हाँ. हाँ. तो वो फर्नीचर खरीदने के लिए जो दुकानदार बाहर बैठा है जिसको आप हम देसी भाषा में दुकानदार बोलते हैं तो वही एक वेंडर है ओके तो ऐसे ही जब मेरे को प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे जब व्हेन आई एम सिटिंग एट अ प्रोजेक्ट साइट एंड आई नीड द मटेरियल तो मैं तो डेली जाके दुकान से मटीरियल नहीं लेके आ सकता बिकॉज अगर मैं डेली जाके दुकान से मटेरियल लेके आऊंगा तो वट पीपल विल बी डूइंग वर सिटिंग एट प्रोजेक्ट साइट यू आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट हाँ सर हाँ तो आई हैव टू प्लान एवरी थिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द शेड्यूल ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट कि अब प्रोजेक्ट में ये फेज आएगा अब स्ट्रक्चरल पार्ट चल रहा है तो हमें सीमेंट सैंड एग्रीगेट इन सब की जरूरत होगी अब फिनिशिंग वाला पार्ट आएगा तो हमें जिप्सम टाइल मार्बल इन सब की जरूरत पड़ेगी और जब फिनिशिंग हो गई है बिल्कुल तो हमें क्या क्या और अदर चीजों की जरूरत पड़ेगी या हमें क्लब हाउस बनाना है तो उसमें बाकी क्या 
फिनिशिज करनी है तो उस हिसाब से हम प्लान करते हैं तो उसके लिए जो 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 सर्विसेज या मटेरियल जो लोग देने आ रहे हैं वो वेंडर्स हैं या सप्लायर्स हैं जो वेंडर्स हैं वो मटेरियल देते हैं जो सप्लायर्स है वो सर्विसेज देते हैं इट्स अ जनरल टर्म ओके ठीक है बताइए और कोई भी या सर वो तो चूज वेंडर सर मतलब ये मटेरियल अच्छा भेजा है और मटेरियल क्वालिटी कैसे चेक करना चाहिए तो वेंडर्स का चूज करना के तौर पर हां जैसे मानिए कि मेरे को एसी चाहिए है ठीक है एसी एक बहुत ही हमने मान लिया जनरल चीज है तो अंदर का पास पास हो जाता तो हमें एसी चाहिए तो मैं सबसे पहले क्या देखूंगा कि एसी के सबसे बढ़िया ब्रांड कौन से हैं राइट चलो या सो सबसे बढ़िया ब्रांड कौन से हैं कौन ब्रांड फिर मैं उन ब्रांडों के जो भी बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट टीम है उनसे कांटेक्ट करूंगा या सेल्स टीम है उनसे कांटेक्ट करूंगा फिर मैं उसमें देखूंगा कि मेरे को जो टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशन चाहिए प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे राइट right? जो भी मेरे को जैसे हाँ ए सी डेढ़ टन का चाहिए या दो टन का चाहिए उसकी कैपेसिटी इतनी होनी चाहिए विंडो चाहिए या स्प्लिट चाहिए या वी आर वी यूनिट चाहिए बहुत टाइप के ए आते हैं फिर मैं उनसे पूछूंगा कि आपके पास ये चीज अवेलेबल है मेरे को ये चाहिए है ठीक है फिर वो बोलेंगे कि हाँ हमारे पास अवेलेबल है हाँ नहीं है फिर वी विल आस्क दैट बाई वट टाइम यू विल बी एबल टू सप्लाई दिस मटीरियल आप इस मटीरियल को कब तक सप्लाई कर देंगे ऐसा तो नहीं है दैट यू विल बी सप्लाइंग द मटीरियल वेन माई प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑलरेडी ओवर और आई हैव टू एंड ओवर टू द क्लाइंट बट यू आर नॉट सप्लाइड द मटीरियल टिल नाउ कि मेरे को चाहिए था दो हफ्ते बाद और आपने दिया चार हफ्ते बाद मटीरियल देन ऑल द फाइव आर्स जो मैंने पांच आर शुरू में बताए वो सारे प्लेस में आ जाएंगे कि हमें राइट right टाइम पे चाहिए है राइट right प्राइस के साथ चाहिए है राइट right क्वांटिटी में चाहिए है और क्वालिटी हमने ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर ही ली है तो इन सब पैरामीटर्स के बेसिस पे हम एक वेंडर को चेक करते हैं ठीक है ओके समझ गए हाँ एनी अदर क्वेश्चन ओके सो आई थिंक वी या या प्लीज टेल मी सर इन शॉर्ट वी कैन से दैट वॉट एवर द मटेरियल वी आर परचेजिंग फ्रॉम देंडर्स लाइक सीमेंट सैंड एग्रीगेट मार्बल टाइल्स ब्रिक्स एक्सेट्रा वॉट एवर वी रिक्वायर्ड इन कंस्ट्रक्शन सो दो मटेरियल शुड बी इन गुड क्वालिटी एंड एंड कैन बी इजीली अफोर्डेबल राइट सर या वी कैन से easily affordable uh, uh, you know that depends that what kind of material see it depends upon totally you know kind of project if it's a, it's a very luxurious high end project so even the marble will be coming from oman so at my, one of my project we procure over the all the our uh, you know marble from oman in general we procure marble from rajasthan only right so it depends upon the type of project ki kis type ka project hai kaise project mein hum deal kar rahe hain एक प्रोजेक्ट पे मैं सेम मार्बल खरीदता हूँ राजस्थान से दूसरे पे मैं खरीदता हूँ जो सारा ओमान ओमान से आता है सारा मार्बल तो वो डिपेंड करता है कि मेरा प्रोजेक्ट कैसा है एक प्रोजेक्ट पे मैं खरीदता हूँ पूरा किचन का जो भी सेट होता है वो इटली से आता है लेकिन दूसरे प्रोजेक्ट पे मेरा कोई लोकल वेंडर देता है बिकॉज दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट और द स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ मटीरियल ओके सो यस यू हैव समेट समड इट अप वेरी नाइसली कि हमें प्रोजेक्ट पे जो भी मटेरियल चाहिए वो हमें राइट प्राइस पे अवेलेबल हो जाए जो भी ये सारा मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड है यस दैट इज फाइन बट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन यू नो टाइप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट आल्सो कि वो राइट प्राइस दस रुपए है या वो राइट प्राइस सौ रुपए है ओके ओके सर राइट सो एनीबडी एल्स Okay. Sir, how to get the data of vendors? Uh, yes. So uh, you know, three things are there. Uh, you can get the uh, data of vendors. Uh, like uh, you are joining in any company, so company will be already having a set of vendors. First thing. Second thing, you can uh, you know uh, Google out everything that uh, who is the best vendor for uh, this kind of material. Like you will be requiring. Uh, uh any specific kind of material ac or something so the, uh, in today's life you know everything is available on internet and third thing is that 
for local material like for cements and aggregate yes you have to go into market and you have to check who is the uh, you know the best supplier in the market and what is the rate who can supply you that uh, material so you have to on um, uh, on board all those vendors so these are uh, three uh, you know general things which uh, which generally we used to do okay so anything except that yeah so i think now i should move ahead to the next slide right yes okay sir so this is a pictorial representation of vendor pre qualification and vendor evaluation so in this uh, i have you know explained that first vendors are assessed on those quality parameters and uh, after uh, you know assessing the, uh, them for from uh, the, uh, those quality standards they will be added to database like you are saying na ki vendors aate kahan se hai to ye database bana lete hain vendors ka okay then they are invited to offer उनको ही हम आर एफ क्यू भेजते हैं हमारा रिक्वेस्ट फॉर कोटेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड आर एफ क्यू यू हैव ऑलरेडी यू नो हार्ड सो मेनी टाइम्स दैट ए प्रोक्योरमेंट गाइड सेंडिंग आर एफ क्यू नहीं आया है अभी तक या ऐसा कुछ मैम एनी बडी हैविंग एक्सपीरियंस इन द पार्टिसिपेंट्स एनी बडी एनी वर्किंग एनी वेयर ओके आई थिंक ऑल आर स्टूडेंट्स ओनली okay okay that's not an issue uh, i will make you understand what is rfq uh, rfq is nothing like it's a request for quotation so you will be sending request for quotation to the vendor in that request for quotation you will be mentioning that uh, we require this material with this quantity with this specification at this place and for our this project and we will be needing this material by this time तो हम क्या करेंगे आर एफ क्यू क्या है आर एफ क्यू में हम मेंशन करते हैं कि हमें ये मटेरियल चाहिए इतनी क्वांटिटी में चाहिए इतने लोगों मतलब इतने टाइम के साथ चाहिए और आ, इस जगह पे चाहिए ये मेंशन करते हैं और हमें इस प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे चाहिए जो भी प्लेस होगा तो ये एक आर एफ क्यू होता है ठीक है और जो वेंडर इवेल्यू सो वेंडर प्री क्वालिफिकेशन है दैट इज these three uh, steps aur ye hai vendor evaluation ke mein ki humne jab contract award kar diya to uski performance review karenge that is vendor evaluation jo hum baad mein karenge fir hum database ko review karte hain ki humne jo yahan pe vendor add kiye the they are performing or not agar nahi kar rahe to hum database mein review karke usme change kar denge ठीक है आई थिंक आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन वेंडर इवेल्युएशन एंड प्री क्वालिफिकेशन स्लाइड इज जस्ट अ पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके ओके सो आई एम मूविंग फॉर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली ए प्रोक्योरमेंट गाइड डू एट अ प्रोजेक्ट साइट मतलब एक प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोफेशनल की ड्यूटीज क्या है कैसे वो काम करता है हाउ ही वर्क एट अ प्रोजेक्ट साइट ठीक है सो फर्स्ट सबसे पहले क्या होता है कि ही विल चेक रिक्वायरमेंट विद साइट एंड स्टोर तो ही विल यू नो वो चेक करेगा कि साइट पे क्या जरूरत है साइट टीम के साथ या साइट की स्टोर टीम के साथ या इट्स ऑलरेडी समटाइम्स वी कैन से प्लानिंग ऑलरेडी हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ मटेरियल दैट इज दिस मटेरियल टू बी प्रोक्योर्ड बाय दिस टाइम और समटाइम्स प्रोक्योरमेंट का आई विल ऑल्सो you know be into uh, the, uh, those meetings and plan accordingly to the schedule of the project so project ke phase ke according he will be planning the material also and after checking the requirement matlab usne ek bar requirement check kar li so he will be developing an understanding of that material so see procurement mein hone ka one of the major benefit is that that you will be working cross functional ऐसा नहीं होगा कि आप सिविल इंजीनियर हैं और आप सिर्फ सिविल रिलेटेड मटेरियल ही प्रोक्योर करेंगे यू विल बी प्रोक्योरिंग आइटम रिलेटेड टू मैकेनिकल आल्सो रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रिकल आल्सो तो आपकी नॉलेज इतनी वास्ट हो जाती है कि एनी मटेरियल और एनीथिंग इज कमिंग सो यू विल डीप डाइव इन टू दैट तो इसीलिए एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग डेवलप करनी पड़ती है लाइक वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट यू नो 
it's a totally cross functional job that you have to procure material for civil construction also and for mep work also and for electrical work also so you know you have to develop understanding for that material like if uh, i'm going to purchase it uh, we can say ac so we will be checking that how much tonnage of the ac is required how much you know pipe length is required what kind of material of the pipe should be how many you know running meter length of electrical wire is required the wire is of uh, how much mm how much core it should be or uh, if you are procuring some electrical cable to how much core cable is kitna cable ka size hai kya core hai kya sheathing hai kya uske upar jo केबल को सेव करने के लिए जो लेयर है दैट शुड बी ऑफ वट मटेरियल तो आपको इतनी सारी चीजों का पता चल जाता है जनरली जो एक जो एक फंक्शन में बंदा रहता है उसको नहीं पता चलता बिकॉज सी इलेक्ट्रिकल गाय विल बी मेजरली डूइंग रिलेटेड वर्क टू इलेक्ट्रिकल मैकेनिकल विल बी डूइंग मेजरली टू मैकेनिकल एंड सिविल विल बी डूइंग इन टू मेजरली इन टू सिविल ये समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स दैट एट अ प्रोजेक्ट साइट यू टू टेक केयर ऑफ एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग but you will be you know uh, supported by the different functional heads or different uh, people from you know uh, that background but in case of procurement you majorly you will be doing this cross functional jo- job sometimes it may happen that yes for uh, civil different people are there for mechanical different people are there but at small projects or even in big companies also like uh, lnt also tata also you know all only a single guy will be doing uh, all these kind of uh, thing uh, sitting at a uh, project okay. site so understanding develop karna bahut zaruri hota hai us material ki hame exactly chahiye kya hai what we are needing at our uh, what we need at our project site is that is required or not that you can okay so or jab uh, after developing that understanding वट ही विल बी डूइंग ही विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग आर एफ क्यू जिसकी हम बात कर रहे थे सो आर एफ क्यू इज रिक्वेस्ट फॉर कोर्ट एंड ही विल फ्लोट इट टू द अप्रूव वेंडर सो ये अप्रूव वेंडर्स हमारे पास कहां से आएंगे दीज अप्रूव वेंडर्स विल बी कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट लिस्ट जो हमने वेंडर प्री क्वालिफाई करके एक लिस्ट बना के रखी हुई है वेंडर्स की वहां से अगर नहीं है तो हम वेंडर ढूंढेंगे ठीक है, सो वी विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग आर एफ क्यूज एंड फ्लोटिंग इट टू द अप्रूव वेंडर्स तो जो भी हमारे अप्रूव वेंडर्स है उन्हें उन्हें हम ये इंक्वायरी फ्लोट करेंगे एंड देन दे विल बी यू नो सेंडिंग कोर्ट्स टू यू एंड आफ्टर रिसीविंग द कोर्ट्स यू विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग टेक्नो कमर्शियल कंपेरिजन सो टेक्नो कमर्शियल कंपेरिजन वट आई मीन फ्रॉम टेक्नो कमर्शियल दैट ऑल द टेक्निकल डिटेल्स विल बी देयर ऑल द price related details will be there all the other de- details will also be there so in that you have to check that is the price is feasible for us he he is providing the you know delivery at right time or not so all these uh, things you have to check and after uh, you know uh, preparing the techno commercial comparison you, you will verify all the quotes with your internal working like jo maine bola कि आपने एक एसी परचेज करना है इतने मीटर लेंथ पाइप होनी चाहिए इतनी दूर हमारा एसी रखा जाएगा तो इन सब के हिसाब से यू विल बी आल्सो यू नो चेकिंग दैट ये इस प्राइस में आ रहा है या नहीं आ रहा है बिकॉज यू विल बी आल्सो नोइंग दैट दिस इज द मार्केट प्राइस यहाँ पे मेजर काम आता है हमारा लाइक यू विल बी डूइंग मार्केट एनालिसिस ऑल्सो आप मानिए कि आप एक ए जो आप फ्लिपकार्ट से खरीद रहे हैं और एक बंदा जो प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे खरीद रहा है सो देर विल बी अज डिफरेंस ऑफ आई विल से मिनिमम टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट प्राइस डिफरेंस विल बी देर ओके सो इतना जनरली प्राइस डिफरेंस होता है सो बट ही विल बी टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ बल्क क्वांटिटी और ही विल बी टेकिंग एडवांटेज दैट यस यू नो नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट में हम और क्वांटिटी देंगे सो ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स ही विल बी डूइंग तो ये सबसे ज्यादा जरूरी है कि वो मार्केट एनालिसिस करेगा कि ये वाली चीज इतने रुपए में अवेलेबल हो रही है जो हमें वेंडर दे रहा है वो सही प्राइस है या नहीं है आप समझ रहे हैं मेरी बात कि ही विल बी वेरीफाइंग ईच कोट कि इसने इतना प्राइस दिया है और मेरा लिस्ट प्राइस इतना है तो ये 
जो मैं मटेरियल खरीद रहा हूँ ये राइट right प्राइस पे है या नहीं है या वेंडर ज्यादा प्राइस मांग रहे हैं समटाइम्स इट में हैपन कि एक जैसे मानिए कि मैं मैं मेरे को ब्रिक चाहिए एक प्रोजेक्ट के लिए मैंने वेंडर्स से कोट लिए अप्रूव्ड वेंडर्स से और सेकंड क्लास ब्रिक मेरे को पड़ रही है फोर पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज की लेकिन मैंने मार्केट में इंक्वायर किया कि नहीं ये तो आ, मेरे को चार रुपए में ही अवेलेबल है बाहर तो दैट काइंड ऑफ वर्किंग आई हैव टू डू एट माय एंड तो ये वाला प्रोसेस भी काफी ज्यादा जरूरी है कि आई विल डू माई इंटरनल वर्किंग एंड प्राइस एनालिसिस एंड आई विल ऑल्सो चेक विद प्रीवियस प्राइस की इसी वेंडर ने और कहीं पे जो मटेरियल सप्लाई किया है दैट दे हैव सप्लाइड एट द सेम प्राइस और नॉट सो ऑल दिस थिंग वी विल डू एंड देन आफ्टर दिस वी विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग ए बेंचमार्क प्राइस और टारगेट प्राइस फॉर डूइंग द नेगोशिएशन जैसे आप लोग भी जैसे आप मानिए कि आप एक साइकिल लेने जाते हैं या या प्लीज टेल मी यस यू आर सेइंग समथिंग I think someone have uh, uh, unmuted their mic. Please mute it. Please mute it. Uh, please mute your mic. So, ha. Uh, so uh, we will uh, the procurement guy we will be preparing a benchmark price. कि इसी price में मेरे को material चाहिए कि मेरे को अगर बाहर चार रुपए में available है तो मेरे को तीन रुपए सी पैसे या चार रुपए जो भी feasible price है इस price में चाहिए मेरे को ठीक है, so, ये सारी ड्यूटीज हैं एक प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोफेशनल की ओके कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट पार्ट सो ही विल ऑल्सो क्लैरिफाई एनी डेविएशन एंड गेट एक्सेप्टेंस फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट ऑल्सो और फ्रॉम द प्रोजेक्ट साइड एंड ही विल शॉर्ट लिस्ट द वेंडर्स एंड ही विल डू द नेगोशिएशन पार्ट एंड ही विल टेक अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द हायर मैनेजमेंट एंड प्रोवाइड द परचेज ऑर्डर टू द शॉर्ट लिस्टेड वेंडर सो ये सारी प्रोसेस ये मेजर ड्यूटीज होती हैं एक प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोफेशनल की कि जब उसने वेंडर सेलेक्ट किया देखा उनका प्राइस इतना है कंपैरिजन में फिर उसने प्राइस एनालिसिस खुद किया हुआ था उससे चेक किया कि इनका प्राइस उनके अकॉर्डिंग है या नहीं है उसके बेसिस पे ही विल जज दैट दिस पोटेंशियल वेंडर इज देयर विद दिस प्राइस एंड हाउ मच द प्राइस शुड बी लोवर्ड कि ये वाला प्राइस मीट होना चाहिए जैसे आप लोग भी जाते हो बाहर आप लोग भी बोलते हो ना शॉपकीपर को कि सर बीस रुपए का नहीं अठारह रुपए में दोगे तो आई कैन बाई राइट ना तो द सेम थिंग यू हैव टू डू फॉर अ प्रोजेक्ट साइड बट यस ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए जैसे हम शॉप पे जाते हैं तो वी विल बी रेंडमली सेइंग कि आप अठारह में दे दो बीस में तो नहीं एंड इफ शॉपकीपर आस्क यू दैट वट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस एटीन देन यू विल बी लाइक ब्लैंक टोटली आई जस्ट सेट बट नो इन दिस केस यू हैव टू यू नो मेक अ प्रॉपर बैकअप like for every detail or every price or every target price you have to pre prepare a price analysis that because of this reason i have reached to this price like aap aggregate purchase kar rahe ho if you are purchasing aggregate so what is the source location of the aggregate from how far it is coming then who is bringing that what is the crushing uh, you know cost then uh, what is the transport cost so all these factors should be considered ki mere ko ek ton material aggregate ka ye price chahiye hai iske ye ye factor hai maine is factor mein itna itna paisa consider kiya hai aur is paise ke hisab se 800 rupaye per ton aa raha hai aur aapne jo price diya hai wo 850 rupaye per ton hai to aapko 50 rupaye kam karne padenge and if you are doing it nicely to aap soch sakte hain ek project site pe kitna zyada aggregate use hota hai so so you will be saving a lot और अगर आप वो नहीं कर रहे हैं सो यू विल बी लूजिंग अलॉट ऑल्सो सो किसी भी प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द होल कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट इज इन टू प्रोक्योरमेंट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू मटीरियल एंड सर्विसेज तो आप ये सोच लिए अगर आपने ये वाला पार्ट कंट्रोल कर लिया तो बाकी सारी चीज भी अपने आप कंट्रोल हो जाएगी दैट्स वाई इट इज अ वेरी मेजर फंक्शन ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रोजेक्ट यू हैव ऑल्सो सीन की अभी रिसेंट में इवन द बिग कंपनीज आर यू नो ट्राई टू टेकिंग ऑल द सिविल इंजीनियर इन टू दर्मेंट डिपार्टमेंट अर्लियर वट यूज टू हैपन अर्लियर ऑल द कमर्शियल बैकग्राउंड गाइज आर देयर इन टू प्रोक्योरमेंट बट वट दे विल बी डूइंग दे विल बी जस्ट 
एंड सीइंग दैट वी इज एल वन जिसका भी एल वन विल बी सप्लाइंग द मटेरियल बट नो दिस इज नॉट द राइट वे सो दिस इज नॉट द राइट वे टू डू प्रोक्योरमेंट यू हैव टू चेक टेक्निकली आल्सो दैट यस इफ ही इज गिविंग दिस मच ऑफ मटेरियल एट दिस प्राइस सो हाउ एग्जैक्टली इट इज कॉस्टिंग मी so how exactly this material is costing uh, me ki kitna exactly mere ko ye material cost kar raha hai aisa to nahi hai ki directly ye mere ko l1 mein pad raha hai aap maniye let me give you example of admixture i am buying admixture for my project site aur maine teen vendors se quote liye like one is fosro second one is seco and third one is sika so fosro is providing his material at 100 rupees per liter and uh, sika is providing at 70 rupees and uh, sico is providing at uh, we can say 70 rupees so we will be seeing oh sika oh he is giving 60 rupees per liter take take him from uh, like take the material from him no you have to check that for making a 1 cubic meter of concrete how much admixture of these th- three different brands is required one will be used as 4 liter for 1 cubic meter preparing 1 cubic meter of concrete one will be required 2.5 liter only and one will be required 6 liter so these technically things those commercial people will not understand so that's why all the major companies in construction are taking the civil pro- engineering guys into their procurement function so now you can understand that you know how the things are done into procurement department why people are so we can say technically sound and they are also moving into procurement department because they know that this material right now if we purchase this material but ultimately this will you know cause a loss for me so they have to foresee also that if i am taking this material with this price but ultimately it's giving something different output so all these kind of comparison the procurement guy do on a project site okay so hope you have now understood what are the major duties of a procurement professional at a site so and uh, one more thing uh, after doing this all uh, you know comparison and taking approval uh, procurement guy will make the purchase order and send it to uh, we can say vendor and inform the site and store that he has follow up for the material or he will also follow up for the material okay so now you can ask uh, any question or something you have in your mind related to duties of a procurement professional so anybody uh, whatever you want to ask like if you want to be in future a procurement professional you see many advantages are there of being into this department i will uh, tell you later but you will get to know that this department is not a common department it's a various uh, we can say you know everything is in detail and everything is so niche so you will get into this department and will be you know uh, getting into things and knowing various things in this department so anything you want to uh, ask about that yes what exactly a procurement guy do so you can ask me now so any participant hello ha ha boliye sir after purchasing how oh, will be the payment process okay how is the payment process so uh, yeah so while making the techno commercial comparison the procurement will guy will mention that the agreed payment term is 100% uh, after the delivery of material with 30 days credit or with uh, zero days credit jaise dekho payment term do teen tarike ka hota hai main aapko general agar language mein bolu ek to jo aap karte hain purchase ठीक है दैट इज कॉल्ड परचेज नॉट प्रोक्योरमेंट लाइक यू हैव गोन टू अ शॉप यू विल टेक द मटेरियल एंड एंड प्रोवाइड मनी राइट 
तो ऐसा भी होता है कि यू विल बी टेकिंग द मटीरियल एंड प्रोवाइडिंग द पेमेंट टू वेंडर सो इन परचेज ऑर्डर एवरीथिंग विल बी मैं राइट एवरीथिंग विल बी मैं वट विल बी द पेमेंट टर्म तो वेंडर जैसे ही मटीरियल सप्लाई करेगा एंड स्टोर विल टेल दैट यस वी हैव रिसीव द मटीरियल तो जैसे ही वो पता चलेगा कि हाँ मटीरियल हो गया तो जो हमारी पेमेंट टर्म की कंडीशन मैंशनड है हमारे परचेज ऑर्डर में उसके बेसिस पे हम वेंडर की जो हमने डिटेल ऑलरेडी ले रखी है हम पेमेंट प्रोसेस कर देते हैं उसके बैंक अकाउंट में अंडरस्टूड ओके यस तो क्या होता है कि जैसे जब हम बोलते हैं ना वेंडर ऑन बोर्डिंग करवा रहे हैं मैंने बीच में एक वर्ड यूज किया था वेंडर ऑन बोर्डिंग कि हम बाहर से वेंडर को अपने प्लेटफॉर्म पे लेके आ रहे हैं तो वो प्लेटफॉर्म पे जब उसे रजिस्टर करते हैं तो हम उसका सब ले लेते हैं कि क्या क्या काम करते हो कौन आपके बंदे कौन बी में है कैसे मटीरियल सप्लाई करते हो कहाँ से करते हो किन किन ब्रांड्स में डील करते हो आपका अकाउंट नंबर क्या है आपका ऑफिस कहाँ है तो ये सारी डिटेल ऑलरेडी ले लेते हैं तो जैसे ही हमें वो मटेरियल सप्लाई करता है तो उस पीओ के अगेंस्ट में हम दिखा देते हैं कि ये जीआरएन बनता है गुड रिसिप्ट नोट कि ये मटेरियल हमें मिल चुका है वो मटेरियल स्टोर से अकाउंट्स में सॉरी वो स्लिप स्टोर से अकाउंट में जाती है अकाउंट विल प्रोसेस ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके coming to the next thing so what are the steps generally kya steps hote hain jo ek procurement professional karta hai through erp ya through email to so, generally badi companies mein uh, what is followed that uh, electronic material request by the end user so you know we are in the era of digitalization so everything is digital now so uh, the site engineer will be you know giving requirement through Uh, his uh, we can say app that uh, this much of material is required so one electronic material request will be pop up in the procurement professionals uh, erp so he will check and uh, this emr will be authorized by the respective category head we can say that uh, if it is related to civil so then civil functional head will check yes this material is required at our project site or not and after uh, that um, emr authorization Uh, the procurement guy will float offer into the system also so all vendors are already into the system that is through erp uh, you have heard a lot i think about sap 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 people generally used to say that sap mein bhejna hai ye hai so sap is the eip what i am referring then that eip will also make one automatic comparison like all the vendors are there in comparison and whatever the price have they have provided that will be also into the, uh, that comparison and after that the process will be like same he will issue the po and po will be authorized through uh, we can say first it will go to project manager then project director then functional head and then it will be to vendor but if that advanced erp system is not there and a small company is there so then pr request will come uh, like it can come into register also then the uh, purchase guy will uh, you know send all the requirements through we can say email and after collecting all the offers he will prepare one com comparison into excel note the system comparison which was earlier here so he will be making offline uh, we can say uh, cs preparation offline so uh, that is you know some advanced thing related to sap or uh, Uh, offline thing so in small company generally it is done through offline system and in big companies all the vendors are registered and it is done through online system only so mai kya bolna cha raha hu is isme ki kuch company jo badi hai wo advanced erp system sap use karti hain ki sara kaam usi mein ho jata hai aapko excel mein koi bhi comparison banane ki zarurat nahi padti automatically comparison banta hai system mein aur aap system se check karke order issue kar sakte hain लेकिन जो छोटी कंपनीज होती हैं, उनमें आपको कंपैरिजन ऑनलाइन बनाना पड़ता है ऑफलाइन बनाना पड़ता है ये कुछ में ऐसा होता है कि आधा आधा काम आधा काम एसएपी में होता है आधा आपको वैसे करना पड़ता है तो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन टाइप ऑफ कंपनी ओके सो एनी बडी वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी थिंग
anybody want to ask that uh, what is the emr or what is uh, eip or uh, how the po authorization take place or what is the major things related to purchase orders or any any question you have in your mind you can just let me know sir can you tell once what is sap yeah see sap is a software uh like uh, you you are into uh, maybe in third year or fourth year so you will you have known about stad stad pro that is related to structure like software is there that is related to st structure calculation so the same kind of software is sap in sap what we generally do we do the comp uh, we have we onboard all the vendors into that uh, software and we will send our all inquiries to all the vendors in that platform only and after receiving offer from them we will make comparison into software only and we will issue the purchase order also into software so that is a kind of software okay okay sir ha uh, even you will be using some kind of like zoom is also kind of a software for you know meeting doing meeting or discussion so it's a very simple platform it's not that something difficult is there in sap or something but yeah in today's era sap is also a very you know big thing many jobs are there related to sap functional consultant job so anybody who can define the process related to uh, you know procurement into sap aap maniye agar kisi company ko apne yahan procurement ka process set up karwana hai so he will be hiring a lot of people who will be doing this sap integration into their system so that's why i am saying that the procurement domain is a very you know good domain you can uh, do anything you want into this domain okay okay sir hmm. so anything else okay so i'm moving ahead to next slide so next slide is the tools what are used into procurement process so majorly we, excel is used so you know i am telling you this uh, thing that uh, in third year or fourth year you are if you are not uh, you know learning or trying to learn anything technical thing or something you please try to learn excel you know if you are good at excel na then many things you can do at your own or many jobs you will be getting at very ease so excel is the thing you should know about excel because what will happen when you have to prepare a list or you have to prepare a com comparison and you will be struggling uh, that like how should i prepare how what is should be the format and so you should try to you know be into excel so i will request you all that please learn excel or kuch nahi to you know try to you know keep your spending data into excel try to make formats try to make tables try to do uh, like uh, you know try to use formula shortcut formulas into excel so i will request you all that yes please focus on excel aap sab log excel use karte honge na general aapki baki cheezon mein bhi use aata hai excel thoda bahut agar aap कुछ भी अपना स्पेंडिंग या कुछ भी ऐसा कैलकुलेशन वगैरह या बड़ी कैलकुलेशन अगर कुछ करते होंगे तो एनीबडी हैविंग सम हैंड ऑन एक्सेल हेलो आर यू लिस्निंग यस सर हाँ सो एक्सेल हाँ एक्सेल यू शुड यू नो टेक इट अप आप अपने फ्री टाइम में यूट्यूब पे वीडियोस देखिए मेनी वीडियोस आर देयर एक एक घंटे का कोर्स होता है शॉर्टकट्स दे विल टेल यू एंड यू विल बी सो फास्ट इन एक्सेल वेन एवर यू ज्वाइन एनी वेयर और यू नो पीपल विल आस्क यू हाउ गुड यू आर एट एक्सेल एंड यू विल बी सेइंग दैट यस आई विल नॉट दिस आई छोटी छोटी चीजें सीखिए वी लुकअप सीखिए एच लुकअप सीखिए आप देखिए कि कैसे क्या चीजें चेंज होती है एक्सेल में कैसे डैशबोर्ड बनाते हैं दैट कम्स ऑन लेटर स्टेज बट ये चीजें सीखिए आप बिकॉज दैट विल हेल्प यू and then coming to second thing that is sap that you are asking so sap is also a software in which uh, you will be doing uh, all this uh, uh, you know electronic uh, material request to purchase order part so sap ke teen abhi version chal rahe hain jo major ariba kupa and hana so even people who are uh, know about this ariba and kupa so there are market jobs which are you know not uh, 
less than six to seven lakh rupees, and they are providing that yes, if you are in, you know, say Pariba in and out, and you know Kupa in and out, yes, there are jobs, and uh, I'm not talking about that. Uh, these jobs are into small companies. Big consultancy are taking for this Ariba and Kupa, even EY and PWC, KPMG. They are hiring say Pariba and Kupa guys who who can you know functionally. Integrate this kind of platform into any company's platform. Okay, so okay. if uh, later on you can do some certification on SAP, but yes, first do something on Microsoft Excel and Word also. So in Word, I think the Word is used into civil engineering also. Sometimes I also remember that for writing our project reports or for doing sometimes ass assignments, we use Word. Right? You you guys uh, will also be using this Word. Or not? Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. See, हाँ, see, try to use word. क्योंकि word में क्या होता है कि जब भी आप letter लिखेंगे या कुछ भी लिखेंगे, so you will be getting to know that कैसे align करना है, कहाँ पे page का वो ये दें। तो कई बार क्या होता है when into procurement process or into contract domain also, so you will be writing letter to client, or you will be writing the whole process or you know taking some approval from uh, higher management or from client also so you should know word also okay and coming to uh, we can say power bi so power bi is nothing that is uh, uh, a dashboard kind of thing aapne dekha hoga ki you know many companies or so they will be making data that yes this is in donut shape or itne percent production hua itna percent material hai itna services hai so that kind of fancy dashboard that are done into power bi so power bi is also a very great tool in today's time if you know power bi bi only and you you are very good at power bi so you are, can easily you know get into consultancies so these are major software you should learn about those softwares but primary is excel and then later on these all come okay so try to focus on excel and later on you can uh, allow some time just and it is very simple power bi is free software you can download any time directly just go to uh, uh, this uh, microsoft website and download power bi and you can just see that you, when you will be kuch mat kariye aap apna data nikaliye ki maine january mein itna paisa is is cheez mein kharch kiya february mein itna isme itna isme itna isme itna theek hai usko aap plot karke dekhiye अलग अलग ग्राफ बनाइए आप भी देखेंगे कि व्हेन इट कम्स टू विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन इट लुक्स गुड यू नो अगर मैं आपको बोलूं कि आपने कितना पैसा अभी तक वी कैन से कि आपने कितना पैसा अभी तक बुक्स खरीदने पे खर्च किया कितना पैसा आपने प्रिंट आउट निकलवाने पे खर्च किया तो उन सबको जब आप वेन यू विल बी सींग विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ऑल दो थिंग्स तो देन यू विल फील लाइक या दैट इज वेरी ग्रेट like in this month it is moving from 33 to 35 in this month it is moving from 70 to 80 so that kind of visual inter interpretation uh, we would like so in companies also the same women's work so all these uh, visual interpretation if you can represent nicely so then it will be very good for you so that's why i'm saying that uh, you know try to uh, know these platforms betterly so so that uh, you know uh you can do good when you, you are going into any company or even in interviews also you can write in your resume that i know what is power bi so what he will ask that what you know in power bi so you will be telling that this is a dashboard in which uh, we make the visual representations and uh, all the data is represented into uh, different uh, shape and a different uh, pictorial representation is and then he will be also thing is that yes the guy is knowing about the latest technology which is you know into the field of data representation so he will uh, think like that that yes he is the right guy for his company okay so all these softwares or all these things you should know about so okay uh, so i think uh, there will be not any questions into this or anybody want to ask anything can ask anybody want to sir, ask anything yeah yeah please tell me uh, uh sir abhi uh, 
मैम आपकी आवाज क्लियर नहीं आ रही है मैं फ्रेशर्स बीन फ्रेशर्स को अभी आ रही है क्या हां अभी आ रही हेलो हां हां बोलिए बोलिए हां सर अगर फ्रेशर्स को सॉफ्टवेयर्स वगैरह आते हैं लेकिन फिर भी कंपनीज का क्राइटेरिया ऐसा होता है कि 2 to 3 years experience वगैरह ऐसा तो how can we get the job uh, in such a way uh, see uh, अगर 2 3 companies fresher bhi leti hain if you are telling them to any company that you are very good at excel and you have done this certification in excel and you know in and outs of excel to i don't think ki anybody will deny if it is a office related job if it is related to planning and if it related to we can say any procurement related function so they will not deny anything because see agar kisi fresh when we also you know recruit people we just see that he have just an edge over others in these softwares or not we also know that as a fresher you will not be knowing about you know much technical details right but you just know about that the yes. how things are working when you will tell people that yes in i am very good at microsoft excel and i have done co- uh, one certification course also in this and i know about power bi also so he will be also amazed like i am talking about the good companies not about the general builders or the local builders because see neither they will pay you very nice amount or uh, nor they will fo- focusing on your growth so if in big companies you are trying and you are uh, trying with this approach so um, i don't think you are uh, you will not be successful yeah uh sir uh, one thing one thing i want to share you that uh, uh, i had mentioned in my resume i am good in excel i am good in uh, microsoft office i am good in drafting uh, then uh, then also uh, nothing response is from the big companies lots of resume i had sent uh, through email or uh, from their uh, website forms see uh, in general like uh, uh, in recruitment process also in big companies like uh, see 10 guys have mentioned that i am very good at excel uh, after seeing your resume how can i you know expect that yes you written it correct i will not ask i have not uh, any formula is not written in your resume so that's why i am saying that do some certification when you will be saying that yes i have done this certification in microsoft excel and that is certified by this uh, you know big name or uh, we can say big company so then he will be checking yes so this uh, this girl will be knowing something related to excel aap meri baat samajh rahe hain try to stand out from the crowd not to be into the yes. crowd only okay uh, so sir, actually i had did the uh, course i also mentioned there uh, okay. i am from maharashtra So I had uh, mentioned that I did the uh, MSAD course of a Maharashtra government. Okay. Uh, But, huh. Yeah. yeah. So uh, see, as I'm uh, saying you, the try to use big names like uh, see on generally I think uh, you know government portal is also very fine. But try to use uh, the general Udemy or you do it the course from some you know big institute are also. Uh, doing uh, some uh, uh, we can say collaboration with uh, some pearson group or some edx you try to do those courses like you will saying that yes i have done this certification from which is on edx and uh, this course is designed by mit right try to use those uh-huh. big names so people will be also attracted that what what mm-hmm. achieve and whenever you are or whenever you are applying in any job or any you know don't apply directly you try sir i am unable to hear uh, right now i'm audible hi hello yes. Hi, yeah. yes, sir. So yes, I am no. saying, ha, huh, ha. Huh. So don't you know directly uh, just uh, put your resume into their career uh, page or something. You just try to connect the people of that organization, and uh, then uh, sort of uh, 
approach them and just tell them that yes you are looking for a job and you have this 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 kind of specification uh, sorry uh, i uh, tell that you have this kind of qualification that may be relevant to, to them and you have done this certification also that is also relevant to your work so th those kind of you know balance or we can say that kind of approach you have to use okay so that is yeah, required but sir, uh, and you... how can we uh, directly uh, connect with them because uh, there is no any contact or no, no any uh, email id of a personal are you, are representative you, are... of their company are you on linkedin yes yes ah, so if you will yeah so in search if you will put that uh, any company name like lnt construction so all the company page will open and the people who are doing work in construction that will also get open yeah yeah okay 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 okay, okay. okay. so okay, i sir, think uh, the, we the... went all uh, Ah, and uh, it's fine. You can get it in touch with pro tra uh, trainee team, and you can mail your all doubts and I will of them. Anything related to career or anything related to see, we also face some difficulties by switching companies or find, while going from one part to the another part of country whenever we want. So we also face those kind of situations. So all things, what we have to do that we have to stand up. Uh, you know, away from the crowd, or we can say we have to stand alone. Uh, Uh, wherever crowd is going you should not go there that is the logic i am saying okay Sir? so try ha uh, yeah please tell me can we get your email id yeah sure you can mail uh, you know pro trainee to all your doubts or whatever career guidance you are required i will be available for that so i will ask them that uh, they should provide you and me a common platform because first time i am uh, getting in touch with pro trainee so that's not an issue uh, anything related to uh, you know job or something related to career we can discuss so i think uh, i should move ahead with the one, there is one more slide only the later on we can discuss it into very uh, you know uh, a good manner okay hmm. coming to next slide so what is the major benefits of working into procurement so while you are working in procurement so your negotiation skills will be better like uh, negotiation is something we do इन वेरी जनरल लाइक सबसे छोटा अगर मैं एग्जाम्पल आपको दू आप और आपका फ्रेंड बाहर जा रहे हैं आपने बोला कि नहीं चलो आज गोलगप्पे खाएंगे नहीं आपका फ्रेंड बोलता है नहीं आज पिज्जा खाएंगे तो आप क्या बोलोगे नहीं यार देख पिज्जा में ज्यादा पैसे लग जाएंगे गोलगप्पे ही खा लेते हैं तो देट्स हाउ यू आर नेगोशिएटिंग विद योर फ्रेंड राइट सो वेन यू विल बी नेगोशिएटिंग एंड डूइंग इट इन रेगुलर मैनर इफ दैट थिंग यू आर डूइंग एट योर होम सो योर नो नेगोशिएशन स्किल्स विल develop so you will be a better person while negotiating with the, your family also that i want to go abroad or i want to study there or i want to go on a trip so your family will ask that why you want to go on a trip because i have done so much of work or so you will be a, a so you will be having better negotiation skills in your end so like you will be providing you know a good support or to a good reason to your ideas or to your whatever you are saying you will be you know providing good enough reason okay and second thing is you will be always updated with the current technology see uh, if i am on a project site and i am purchasing some kind of ac or some kind of refrigerator or some kind of tv so i have to get in touch with uh, the vendors and i have to understand also that what exactly the material is coming into market agar aap maniye led tv aa raha hai aur mere ko pata hi nahi hai what is led tv so how will i be you know uh, procuring for that my project site so you will be always updated with the current technology so that is one of uh, major benefit of working into procurement and uh, third thing is cross functional material knowledge that i have already described fourth is scope of changing industry see many people have done that and even my friends have done that that they were into construction industry and later on they wanted that no they will be switching industry so they have moved to even amazon or uh, uh, we can say uh, other last mile delivery uh, companies so startups so that you can also do so, uh, do. so there is always a scope of uh, you know changing your industry so that's why i'm saying that it's a very you know good function to work into 
and uh, fourth uh, we can say next thing is white collar and office job in construction industry so the people who do not want to go into site and who want to do a office job in construction industry so the procurement department is for them but yes you should have knowledge about project site so i recommend generally you do one or two years at a project site and later on you come into procurement domain but yes it's a totally white collar and office job you don't have to go to site you have to go once or twice or at your own that aap jab bhi jaye jab jaye project site but otherwise you will be sitting in an office only and uh, second last thing that is knowledge of real price of the product so when you will be doing the price analysis for any any you know product so you will be getting to know ki exactly what the project is costing uh, what is the exact pro, uh, cost of that material jaise generally we are saying na that what for a iphone generally even 50% is the price of, uh, is the cost price for an iphone but the selling price is double suna hoga na sabne ki jo ek iphone banta hai maniye iphone agar hum 1 lakh rupaye ka khareed rahe hain to usko banane mein sirf 50000 hi kharcha aata hai apple ka but he is selling at 1 lakh so you will be getting to know ki 50000 hi kharcha aa raha hai to aap kabhi bhi kuch bhi cheez lene jayenge aap furniture lene gaye ghar ke liye aap ac lene gaye aap kuch bhi lene gaye ab bologe ki yaar itna percent discount to generally milta hai इतना इसमें वुडन लगा है इतनी प्लाई लगी है इतना ये लगा है इसको देख के इसकी कॉस्टिंग इतनी हो रही है नौ हजार रुपए हो रही है आप पंद्रह हजार रुपए कैसे मांग रहे हो नौ के दस ले लो दस के ग्यारह ले लो बिकॉज यू आर बाइंग इट फॉर योर होम बट आप ऐसा तो नहीं कर रहे कि आप बीस हजार रुपए ब्लैंक लिए हाँ उसने बीस बोले आपने उन्नीस पांच सौ दे दिए सो यू विल बी गेटिंग यू नो द रियल फील ऑफ दैट प्रोडक्ट एंड रियल प्राइस ऑफ दैट प्रोडक्ट आप समझ रहे मेरी बात आपको ये समझ में आने लग जाएगा कि वट इज द रियल प्राइस ऑफ एनी प्रोडक्ट लाइक अकॉर्डिंग कि टोटल इसको बनाने में कितना खर्चा लगा होगा और यहां तक लाने में कितना खर्चा लगा होगा एंड यू नो मेनी मोर अदर बेनिफिट आर देयर ऑफ वर्किंग इन टू प्रोक्योरमेंट डोमेन आई कैन राइट मोर देन टू हंड्रेड बट राइट नाउ आई हैव रिटर्न दिस मच ओनली so you can ask me anything now about your career related to procurement related to other functions related to whatever you are doing in your third year and fourth year and what you should do so now you can you know i'm open to all questions yeah so anybody want to ask anything about procurement uh, excuse me sir good afternoon sir yeah Please, sir, I'm, uh, sir, I'm sir, I'm a civil engineer. I'm working in Bangalore uh, from okay. the last 1.5 years as a site engineer. So okay. I was planning to jump into procurement manager. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so, what is your opinion, sir? So it's fine if you have knowledge about site. So try to get into touch with your procurement uh, people or your procurement team, and tell them that you want to move into their team. and uh, apart from that try to learn or do some sap courses online or uh, try to learn excel also and then you can tell them also that i know about the process i know sap also and i have technical knowledge i have worked on site also so they will also try to consider you into their team okay but you should do something like it's not like that that you are standing in front of me and then from tomorrow i want to be into procurement So you uh -huh. you you have to just tell them that i have these things what you require see anybody uh -huh. will be giving you any job whenever you will that required qualification in your hand aap khud uh -huh. maniye agar aapko ek carpenter chahiye aapke ghar ke liye jo bed bana de to aap usi ko to hire karoge na jo bolega ki maine pehle bed banaya hua hai aap usko to nahi leke aoge na jo bolega ki maine sirf kursi banayi hui hai right yeah yeah sir sir my point is uh, sir uh, is civil engineering enough to join for a procurement manager or uh, should we do any additional courses from nikmar or uh, something like, like that uh, like construction management or uh, 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 construction techniques or uh, see an online courses from nikmar yeah so nikmar is not the platform niti is there so in supply chain they have a specific course okay or many other private institute also have 
Nikmark is majorly for project scheduling, project management. As far uh, as I have details or I have uh, get to in touch with the people who are uh, from Nikmark. So uh, uh-huh. they they will yeah they will be into contract thing, contract management thing. Okay, so uh, okay. what you have done ex- exactly in your uh, uh, Nikmark thing that will uh, tell you that where you have to move ahead. Because see, B Tech you have done and you have general knowledge about uh, the whole all civil engineering. But when you yes. will be going for master, so then you will be knowing each in and out about uh, you know the department you are entering. Uh huh. So Nikmark so, is fine to try for nitty. I will say. Nitty nitty. Okay. Okay. So as per your knowledge, so so uh, from from past one point five years, I was working as civil site engineer. So is it uh, is a good chance to jump for procurement uh, in engineering or manager or uh, oh. should I continue in site engineering as well? Because uh, I am little uh, allergic to sun. If I stand for all day in uh, under the sun, my uh, 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 okay. I used to okay. get like allergic, so I was planning to jump into procurement team. So, so, uh, so as per your knowledge, uh, which course should I do to join the procurement team, sir? So better you start with Excel. Okay, do some certification course in Excel uh, with your job only. I am telling with your job options also, and if you want to do full time course, so that will I also I will tell. Okay. Okay. So, sir, um, for full time course, which course uh, should I take up, sir? Full time courses is there that PGDM diploma from uh, NITI. That is, uh-huh. you know, NITI. NITI is the market leader. We can say for uh, supply chain domain. And after doing, uh, you know, PG diploma from NITI, you can even switch industry also. If you are some, uh, you know, personal or some hygiene problem or some. Uh, we can say healthcare problem issue is there, then you can totally mo- go into uh, a office job, not even into construction industry. That's why I'm saying that in procure, even I have not done, uh, uh, you know, master's degree from uh, NITI, but I have done some courses. So I, right now, even I can also switch to, uh, you know, any company who have supply chain department uh, with them. Uh-huh. Okay. Sir, so, I, I have doubt sir sir uh, currently i'm working with site engineers so will they take a person with site engineering knowledge to into a procurement team or see, uh, mm-hmm. uh, see on site if you are working so we will be having knowledge about what material you are using right what technical yeah, specification yeah. of that material in uh, yeah. uh, we can say sop everything is mentioned right so from there yes, you just know about the codes and everything the process yeah. You try to understand from certifications, certifications of Excel also and certification of SAP also. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you will be having these two things, so later uh, uh, all other things you can understand very well after going into the department. But just tell them that you want to be into that department and have these, uh, you know, qualifications with your in hand. Okay. So try okay. to learn Excel first and do one two certification in SAP. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes, ah, sir. then move into the department so that will be better for you that's that's uh-huh. the right way or otherwise uh, if you directly go uh, want to go so you can use anything any source or something uh, so because uh, uh, because i was thinking uh, just because i have uh, one one plus years of knowledge in uh, this site thing so it, it might be difficult for me to join for an office job because See, they might ask for some practical knowledge or a previous experience. So that was my doubt, sir. So See, it's not like that, that uh, while sitting in office, you will be not getting uh, the site experience. So whenever the material is required, so you have to go to a site and you have to check that the same specification the vendor have delivered or not. Or sometimes okay. it might happen just uh, in the second step of, or the second duty of the procurement professional. I said that you have to understand that what material exactly is required. So uh-huh. what kind of material and you have to develop a feel of that material that, uh, you know, some specific kind of pump is required. We can say for high, for a high riser building, the, we can say the tank is ground tank, the overhead tank we are not using. So you uh, have to require, uh, you require that kind of pump that if the, the uh, you know, pressure in the whole building should be maintained at a point. So you have to understand yeah. that, that thing. So you can understand that uh, 
thing also while being into procurement also it's not related to that if you are having only 1.5 years of experience see we all are learner so hum sab learn karte hain dheere 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 so try to learn jo bhi aapne abhi tak kiya hai wo aapko pata hona chahiye ki kya exactly kiya hai aur kya hota hai in depth okay yeah. not like that ki kaam chal raha hai aap khade ho just side mein nahi not like that no try to take everything whatever you are getting from there so aap wo sab lijiye thoda sa ye kijiye jo maine bataya hai and then move ahead koi issue nahi hai if that kind of health or something issue is there to aap move ahead kar sakte hai otherwise i will suggest ki thoda sa time bitaiye side pe 2 2.5 saal uske baad move kari but theek hai so yes ha nahi so of experience see it um, there is no any specific bar is there even some guys directly join into procurement do- domain but uh, they are performing very well so as i told you na you have to feel the yes. take feel of the thing you are doing to aap jo bhi kar rahe hain agar aap usme bilkul ghus ke kar rahe hain to to everything is fine otherwise if you are not doing that correctly to to fir aap chahe 20 saal ke experience ke baad bhi chale jaiye to bhi you will be only preparing a comparison and giving to l1 winter फ्रॉम Uh, civil site engineers even 10000 15000 are there and big companies are there who are giving 6 to 7 lakhs when they are starting okay mm-hmm. so you have to stand out from the crowd you don't want yes. to take that 10 15000 you try to tell them that no i can do this also so you always see nothing will happen only rejection can come now you apply to xyz any company any company in construction you know you just apply into that whatever will be there for rejection mail will be there that's fine na uh, waise bhi tumhara yes. kuch nahi ho raha hai to aap try karo na har cheez ke liye aur uh-huh. when you will be giving an interview so you will be knowing a lot of things we personally you know uh, uh, take interviews from time to time or give interviews from time to time to, to check that we are not uh, we are updated or not that what is going into market okay so hamesha uh, try karo interview dete raho bahar bhi companies mein interview do जितने भी नाम तुमने देखे हैं लिस्ट निकालो टॉप हंड्रेड कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनीज इन इंडिया वर्किंग टॉप ट्वेंटी कंपनीज वर्किंग इन योर सिटी उसमें देखो मतलब ट्राई टू स्टैंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम द क्राउड ओके सर व्हाट सैलरी कैन वी एक्सपेक्ट एज अ प्रोक्यूरमेंट इंजीनियर सर आई हैव फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बोथ सी इट आई विल से फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग Uh, not less than when you are starting so it will be near around 4 to 5 lakh and then later on it will be it can increase and it can go up to your n number we can't define that number also even i know procurement heads would salaries are more than 1 cr also uh uh-huh, uh uh-huh. okay it depends on the company and the knowledge we gain yes. through, throughout our experience yes 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 right sir what is the future scope of this uh, procurement team sir because there is a huge competition between this procurement manager in civil industry with civil knowledge and uh, who are into store store or uh, logistic uh, logistic team from other branches also so what is the main difference between uh, a civil engineer who becomes a procurement manager and uh, Uh, and uh, other people who do uh, some mba in logistics or uh, purchase department who, who come into civil industry so so what is the future scope of civil engineers coming into procurement team in civil in construction industry so uh, saying to that specific thing like uh, as i told you that for uh, uh, as i given example also that uh, i need as admixture you also knowing that uh, how much quantity of admixture is required in 1 cubic meter of concrete um, but yeah. that guy will not be knowing this thing so you yeah. always will be having an edge and you will see that you will show the management that yes i have generated this saving and if this guy is doing the procurement i can do better savings also uh huh so this this will be the edge see it's fine he, he, he will be taking the same ac or same tv fridge kyunki in sab ka kya flipkart aur in sab pe bhi available hota hai ye sab cheeze and theek hai uh-huh. ye cheeze 
एक एक्सटेंट तक दीज आर ऑल इनडायरेक्ट कॉस्ट यार इनमें कुछ ज्यादा पैसा होता भी नहीं है इन्वॉल्व द मेजर कॉस्ट इज रिलेटेड टू आर सेल मटेरियल जो हम साइट पे परचेज करेंगे जो बड़े बड़े ऑर्डर्स होते हैं ठीक है तो उन, और उसमें क्या होता है आप जब प्राइस एनालिसिस करोगे ठीक है तो yeah, आपको हाँ आप अभी जैसे मानो अगर मैं बोलू आपको ब्रिक वर्क का एक क्यूबिक मीटर के लिए कितना प्राइस होगा तो अगर आपको ब्रिक की नॉलेज है आपने काम करवाया है तो आप जल्दी से निकाल लोगे लेकिन अगर उस बंदे ने काम ही नहीं करवाया तो उसके हिसाब से तो चार हजार भी ठीक है और उसके हिसाब से छह हजार भी ठीक है तो दिस विल बी द सर सर आई आई वाज प्लानिंग प्लानिंग टू टू दुबई 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 लाइक आफ्टर इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन इन इंडिया सो the specification of material is totally different from okay. here uh, so uh-huh. try to be into uh, like uh, if any company is having project right from here also so they will be sending you there but uh, uh-huh. if any specific uh, company want to join so directly they will take you in procurement but at a lower position and later on you can move into uh, higher into domain okay so okay. i will i will uh, you you can just write your all details in a mail or you know send to pro trainee i will explain all the things because i think many people are waiting uh, for asking something okay yes sir yes sir yeah 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 so the next question sir uh, yeah. i have recently completed my btech last year Hmm. सर मैं थोड़ा कंफ्यूज हूँ कि मतलब मुझे एम टेक के लिए जाना चाहिए या क्योंकि मैं चाह रहा हूँ अपना खुद का मतलब बिजनेस स्टार्ट करूँ या कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी स्टार्ट करूँ तो विल इट मैटर इन माय बिजनेस कि मैं बीटेक किया हूँ या एम टेक किया हूँ आगे चल के देखो ज्यादा मैटर नहीं करता अगर आपने किसी अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट से एम किया तो देन इट विल मैटर बिकॉज देन नेम ओनली विल टेल यू तब आपको okay. कुछ करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी लाइक इफ यू सेवेंटी परसेंट परसेंट See, anyone is eligible. Just you have the right set of employees. आप उसमें दिखा सकते हो कि हाँ मैंने इन इन को hire कर रखा है and in that that majorly doesn't matter. But अगर आप अपना business भी शुरू करना चाहते हैं तो मैं आपको यही suggest करूँगा. अगर if you don't have that much of amount in hand, आप पहले किसी छोटे contractor में चाहे आप छः महीने ही काम करिए. आप मेरी चाहे वो आपको पैसे चाहे आपको training. Just for training or whatever he is giving, जो भी दस पंद्रह हजार वो दे रहा है या नहीं दे रहा है that don't take that thing uh, that you are doing a job. Just see that how exactly the function works. What are the issues you will face when you will be doing the business? समझ रहे हो मेरी बात? आप किसी चीज को करने से आप पहले ही दुनिया को देख के wise हो जाओ ना यार खुद failure लेना जरूरी क्यों है? Yes sir, learning from the experience. Yes, learning from the experience of others. ओके okay, और और yes, कुछ sir, नहीं yes. हाँ और कुछ नहीं तो चार पांच महीने काम करके देखो देखो कि तुम्हें टाइम से आना है जाना है नहीं करना है करना है दैट डजेंट मैटर ट्राई टू सी हाउ द यू नो ही इज रनिंग हाउ ही इज रनिंग द साइट ओके क्या क्या yes, दिक्कतें आती हैं कौन कौन क्या क्या करता है कहाँ कहाँ क्या क्या सोर्स लगाना पड़ता है मटीरियल कहाँ से आता है कितने पैसे में आता है कितने दिन क्रेडिट चलता है मार्केट में सो दीज थिंग्स यू विल बी गेटिंग टू नो वाइल यू विल बी वर्किंग एन ए स्मॉल कॉन्ट्रेक्टर क्योंकि एक ही आदमी सारा काम कर रहा होता है मटेरियल भी वही मंगवा रहा होता है लगवा भी वही रहा होता है समझ रहे हो यस 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 सर 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 हाँ तो किसी छोटे कॉन्ट्रेक्टर में काम करो और उसके बाद अपना बिजनेस शुरू करो सर तो मैं अप्रोच कैसे करूँ किसी छोटे कॉन्ट्रेक्टर को एनी वेबसाइट के थ्रू या कहीं जाके कैसे फ्रॉम विच सिटी यू बिलोंग सर आई बिलोंग टू रायपुर छत्तीसगढ़ सर यार रायपुर में तो इतना काम चल रहा है कहीं भी प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे कुछ भी चल रहा हो ना किसी भी प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे वहाँ कोई भी कॉन्ट्रेक्टर कॉन्ट्रेक्टर फॉर्म काम कर रही है उसका नाम पड़ा हो बस वहाँ से 
गूगल का यस सर आई नो कॉन्ट्रैक्टर फार्म्स यस सर बट अप्रोच वहां पे जाके मैं कैसे बोलू कि मुझे ट्रेनिंग चाहिए सो दे विल हायर मी प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर से मिलने की कोशिश करो थोड़ा सा सोर्स लगाओ कोई अगर रायपुर okay, में इतना काम चल रहा है तो सारा मटेरियल रायपुर से ही जा रहा होगा रायपुर तो यार हब है रायपुर तो मतलब आप ये लगा लो स्ट्रक्चर के लिए तो रायपुर हब है okay, इतना okay, सारा स्ट्रक्चर okay. फैब्रिकेशन का काम चलता है ना मतलब आई नो एन नंबर ऑफ वेंडर्स इन रायपुर ठीक है तो कुछ नहीं थोड़ा okay, सा लगा okay. और, और कुछ भी नहीं तो डायरेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट साइट पे भी जाके किसी को बोलोगे ना कि सर मैंने बीटेक किया हुआ है प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर को सर ऐसे 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 मेरे को सीखना है मेरे को आप पांच महीने के लिए ट्रेनिंग पे रख लो तो वो बोलेगा कि नहीं नहीं हमें ट्रेनिंग पे तो बंदा नहीं चाहिए तो बोल देना की सर मेरे को ये आता है वो आता है मैं इसमें हेल्प कर सकता हूँ ये कर सकता हूँ वो कर सकता हूँ और अगर कोई छोटा छोटा कॉन्ट्रेक्टर होगा तो वो तो आपको डायरेक्ट आपको लगा देगा की हाँ कल से हमारा ये इंजीनियर है बहुत सिविल में बहुत अनफॉर्मल काम होते हैं यार आई डोंट वांट टू स्पीक ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म सर एक्चुअली आई डोंट नो मच बिकॉज़ आई एम वेरी न्यू इन दिस फील्ड सो सर आई एम यू 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 दैट्स दैट्स नॉट एन इशू यू कैन जस्ट राइट योर मेनी डाउट्स और एनीथिंग टू प्रो ट्रेनी एंड दे विल सेंड मी द ऑल द डिटेल्स एट एनी टाइम यार नॉट राइट नाउ और नॉट आफ्टर द सेशन व्हेनेवर यू वांट टू आस्क एनीथिंग सो यू जस्ट राइट दैट यस सर या वी नीड टू कंसल्ट दिस थिंग द पर्सन हु हैव गिवन you know uh, the training uh, on in on for procurement so you can any time get in touch with me that's not an issue okay so your name uh see we can't disclose our name because uh, that we have uh, uh, you know kind of uh, okay sir no problem no training okay yeah. sir but yeah you can anyways reach to us yeah that's not the thing just write a mail or do any message to pro trainee and pro trainee uh, will get in to touch with us or i will an- uh, i try to answer or i will ask them to provide us a you know common uh, email kind kind of uh, thing so that we can get in touch with you guys directly okay sir thank you so much sir welcome many time yeah yeah sir aise ka certifications matlab hai kuch idea hai aapko ha sap ka certification aap udemi wagaira aur in sab pe check kariye available rehta hai otherwise kafi companies hoti hain choti choti jo software trainings karati hain वो लोग भी एसएपी में ट्रेनिंग कराते हैं जैसे आपने सिविल से रिलेटेड नहीं है क्या सिविल से रिलेटेड कंपनीज का जो स्ट्रक्चर है वो सिविल से रिलेटेड नहीं रहता है आईटी से रिलेटेड रहता है पूरा हां एसएपी तो एक सॉफ्टवेयर है ना तो सॉफ्टवेयर विल बी रिलेटेड टू आईटी ओनली जैसे आप मानिए आपने स्टेड प्रो सीखा होगा या आप ऑटो कैड सीखते होगे तो उसमें रहता तो हमारा कुछ नहीं है लेकिन हां एक सॉफ्टवेयर है जिसमें हम पूरा अपना लेआउट वगैरह और सारी चीजें वगैरह बनाते हैं तो हमने सीख लिया तो ऐसे ही आप एसएपी भी सीख सकते हैं ओके ओके आप समझ रहे हैं मेरी बात यस सर हाँ तो ये छोटे छोटे जैसे होते हैं ना कि जो खोल के रखते हैं कि जिन्होंने अपनी कंप्यूटर की शॉप खोली हुई कि भी हम एक्सेल भी सिखाते हैं हम ऑटो कैड भी सिखाते हैं तो उनसे पूछिए आपके पास एस का कोई कोर्स है अदरवाइज आजकल तो ऑनलाइन बहुत कुछ अवेलेबल है यार एस से रिलेटेड एस तो बहुत बड़ी चीज है आज के टाइम पे और बताइए एनी वन है समथिंग वेयर एस सी बिजनेस सर्टिफिकेशन विल बी टेक एनी सजेशन सैलरी थ्री is equal to 3 into your work experience ye jo jisne bhi whoever he, he, you know type this that is all uh, that this kind of pay scale is uh, we can say very good pay scale in civil engineering otherwise do ya 2 2.25 ka factor chalta hai apni industry mein how we can learn power bi and sap ariba ariba power bi you can directly check youtube many courses are there or otherwise microsoft have their own training free train, training session for power bi you can just check with them and coming to sap ariba i have already told okay and anybody suggest me latest trending software aap direct ja ke google kariye direct power bi aap or i would suggest anyone to qs course i would suggest you to switch to qs courses or estimation yes qs is also a very nice thing quantity services uh, so estimation you will uh, be also doing into uh, we can say procurement also that's why i am saying that you should have site knowledge also 
ओके एंड सीवी डॉक्यूमेंट्स विद नेम फाइल ए बी सी ओके ओके सो यू पीपल आर सजेस्टिंग ईच अदर राइट एंड डैशबोर्ड इज मेकिंग लर्निंग आई एम विद हां एसएपी एंटर इज हां या एसएपी एम एम पी को एपीबीएच आर या has an even got placed during the construction management of course yes many people got placed into uh, we can say uh, uh, construction uh, after doing the construction management courses so uh, it's kind of trending thing also and here we don't always do not yeah uh, many times we don't go for uh, l1 vendors so if he is not complying technically and he is not giving the material at right price or uh, at, uh, sorry Uh, i said right price at right time we can say delivery should sometimes uh, you know time is uh, we always say in contract is line is written time is the essence of contract the time is uh, above each and everything those who got placed these are regretting or finding calls or work in the you will have salary target target love sales target no 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 i am not telling about software selling no no these are different things you are talking about i am just talking about okay i think uh, we have discussed a lot and anything you want to discuss uh, you can tell me four new messages are there uh, is procurement industry actually hiring fresher candidate sometimes big companies takes uh, directly gt into procurement but uh, most more majorly uh, companies try to you know take experienced guys who have some site experience or some kind of uh, we can say planning experience okay what other certification you can suggest for for better job posting like the qs and estimation are also good thing sir chartered engineer banne ke liye approach karna hoga usme scope hai ya nahi yes scope is uh, every time there any revit courses available in proteny that proteny will tell any good structural e tab sir i am interested in quantity and in previous see for prime vera who, uh, who have posted mr wasim are you there yes sir so prime vera is a very good thing if you are good in prime vera so you will be good into contract management also see because if you are doing scheduling very nicely and you know how to put each and every delay event or any fragment uh, related to delay so then you, you will be very good at uh, you know uh, knowing that when the project will end generally it's a thing that people don't take seriously prime vera but prime vera is also a very good thing uh, you you can you know learn pr prime vera and you will be uh, directly selected into companies uh, into planning department okay yes sir uh, prime vera is good here prime vera is always good and so uh, currently you, i have completed my btech uh, and i'm very interested in excel power bi and prime vera and quantity service these four sort of software i have to come on and all okay so if you have done uh, all this certification have you tried for any companies or you are doing you want to do something at your own no sir i am still learning from youtube okay. simply learn or edureka is the two numbers of channels which i follow okay mostly. so uh, you are uh, trying for job also or what you want to do exactly that i want to know? right now i am learning sir okay that's great so after learning you get in touch with the uh, company people and many contract management firms are there who take directly the guys who know prime vera only okay yes sir uh, so the prime vera is good yeah thank you sir any yeah uh, any other questions or anything you want to know hello ha uh, yeah please tell me hello sir uh, i i just want to get this clarification because uh, many people nowadays of uh, my friends everybody are jumping to it sectors just because there is no jobs in civil engineering there is no demand for civil engineering so i just i uh, am just curious on behalf of everybody uh, uh, in civil engineering that is it true that uh, there is there will be low demand in future or is it just uh, some new nuisance going on just because there is some boom in uh, it field so i just wanted to get this clarification from see, your side sir yeah yeah see i i i am also in industry from uh, we can say 6 to 7 years and my friends are also there in it sectors and i see this is not like that uh, that it se sector is on boom or civil is at a, at a low you 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 must be knowing that many projects are coming infrastructure is on boom Well, yes, that's uh, yeah. what yeah that's what government is also conveying see many projects are coming 
Mumbai transfer, Harbang link, uh, link is coming, Coastal Road is coming, many hundred airports government have announced, many you know general buildings are coming. See, the issue is that that people are not paying well, not getting paid well into construction industry. Issue is that not that that industry is not doing good. Industry is doing very good. So you have to uh, see that by doing which course or by doing what thing, I can get into that list of people who are getting paid well into this industry also. Hmm. Or you can you can take the escape route. You can just you know switch the industry. Yeah, yeah. No, sir. I, I I am strongly fixed into civil engineering industry only. Mm-hmm. I, I I am fixed my mindset that I will stay in civil engineering or, or whatever may happen because I know in future the demand will be there because nobody is taking civil engineering See, right now. I am I am telling you every time there is a demand of civil engineers when he, when any metro is into construction mm-hmm. or anything into construction. Yeah, even right now for this HSR project. Uh, high speed railway project uh, i uh-huh. think 10000 engineers they have said that uh, the slowly and gradually they will be hiring 10000 civil engineers yeah, yeah so you try to get know those things that you can be also hired into that 10000 yeah, okay. yeah yeah so it's not like that jobs are not there in civil engineering jobs yes, are sir. there you have to yes, see that where have you plenty can... of jobs sir. yeah 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 Jobs are in but plenty. Press, uh, yeah. Just, just the you know, there is one more issue also that uh, like uh, our generation don't want to be in sun. Okay. Yeah. Yes, if if yeah. if any anybody is having some health issue or something, that is very fine. That can be catered out into civil also. Like you can switch to procurement. You can switch to planning. You can uh, be on to into planning scheduling only and learn uh, prime where and these things but see jobs are there scope is there and people are getting good amount in hand also in civil engineering it's not like that that people are not getting good money. but yeah you have to see yourself that where you can you want to stand yourself mm-hmm. people are frustrated in it also people are frustrated in civil also so that's not <laughs> a yes yeah. sir is there career growth in bmi in uh coming days yeah manisha you, are you there hello yes sir uh, yes manisha bim uh, we can say is a uh, major aspect in the coming time also and in the current time also all the big projects uh, uh, bim is the uh, we can say key to you know lure client uh, sometimes is that yes this because in bim uh, we will be you know telling client that this kind of building you can virtually see that how you will be altering the building and everything will be coming from this this, this. but in that you can see that on a project site only two bim guys will be there where there will be more than 600 or 700 uh, project site engineers so yes bim is good but you have to you know be very good at bim thing so that you can be into those two people. Okay. Okay, sir. So try, see, whatever you are learning, try to learn that from your heart so that you will not, uh, you know, forget those things and uh, try to do practice. Uh, whenever you visit any township or something, just try to understand or anything you, you know, so you will be whenever you will be going to new place so you will be having an idea ki ye wali cheez yahan hogi market yahan honi chahiye yahan honi chahiye because you will also you know learning in civil engineering also that uh, township hota hai ya yeah, town planning wagaira hota hai although it's a totally different domain also but hamare paas bhi hota hai ki sewage uh, treatment plant yahan hota hai itni capacity ka hota hai logo ke hisab se itna hota hai so you will be Having a feel of your, uh, you know, near around things. So, thoda sa chijon ko me guske dekhne ki koshish karo un, un chijon ko. That what uh, I want to say. So, uh, it's Sufyan. I have learned Prime Vera P6 and a but facing difficulty planning jobs in Mumbai. Can you suggest for Gaur? Right? 
having a year of experience so sufian hello are you there hello yes sir sufian are you there yeah so you have done uh, prime vera p6 and msp but uh, facing difficulty in planning job in mumbai so you know in mumbai there are various uh, you know builders also and various good companies are also there so i think you should try more be on linkedin and try to see that how people are uh, you know getting recruited by various companies or try to get in touch with the hr people of the various companies so soon you will get a good job into planning trying for 6 month the, the, see uh, try to change your so how you are trying uh, basically what i want to know don't try it just uh, tell me you can uh, unmute yourself and tell me hello hello sufian are you there okay you are not in a good environment to talk okay okay that's fine so you can write an email to me that how you are uh, you know searching for job and uh, then i will advise you that uh, how what strategy uh, you should use so you can directly mail to pro trainee and they will take care of this thing okay sufian okay any other hello uh, uh, yes yeah please tell sir, me devyani Okay, I graduated in 2020. Uh, so okay. actually, I have tried to uh, like similarly as Sufyan said. I have learned the softwares, multiple softwares, including Stat Pro, Beam, and then AutoCAD. And like you said, um, I mean improve Excel skills. Too, so I have improved them also. Like MS Office, I know very well. Mm -hmm. So uh, regarding, I mean, even though I know these things, I am really like uh, trying to find various opportunities in the industry since the past one year. now almost i'm giving up upon be staying in civil engineering and going to it okay. um, because sir i could not really find any good opportunity or literally i could not even get to few interviews to you know connect with the people so so i don't think I, there is much opportunity in engineering civil engineering see uh, i will say that uh, so uh, the same question i will ask from you that uh, how you are approaching people like uh, how you are doing uh, with your job finding thing okay uh, like... to answer mm. sorry yeah okay to answer that sir i was like uh, i am at linkedin and i try to apply as many opportunities i find on linkedin when they ask for freshers okay. yes i try to apply there also there are few companies like uh, mncs where they try to search for your fresher candidates i have even applied there also but really no even interview calls i could find there so on okay. websites and then uh, using linkedin i try to mail to the hr okay okay so uh, i would suggest you uh, that uh, you know uh, whenever you are uh, applying to any company or something any we can say any post you have seen so try to relate the mail just uh, don't write any cold mail or something just try to relate uh, the uh, the job description uh, description to you uh your qualification like what you have in hand and uh, uh and what exactly the company is requiring okay just try to relate that and just show them that you have the potential uh, not writing that yes i have seen uh, your uh, uh, this much uh, this requirement and uh, uh, just please find it as my cv this kind of mail so uh, these kind of thing can work and second thing is that uh, that uh, try to uh, you know uh, be in starting you can work into small contractors also or uh, you can uh, be into uh, this uh, we can say in planning uh, for some small contractor or doing some uh, and many even uh, see many even freelancing jobs are also available on upwork and sometimes on linkedin also for civil engineers even so uh, try to find those jobs like uh, sometimes many estimation work come on upwork so try to get in touch uh, so try in upwork uh, you can just try that any freelancing opportunity can get so change try to change your strategy that will i will say that uh, you know try to tell people uh, that yes uh, you can do the thing also and uh, you have this knowledge so and this knowledge will be useful for this job 
so that's how okay. uh, uh, you will get into the industry so you know try to find a way uh, by which you can uh, enter the industry try to get in touch with professional and uh, regularly get in touch with them that is yes, uh, if you have any need of uh, this kind of uh, qualification i have that sort of qualification i have done the certification okay. or i know uh, this thing also or uh, you or uh, see also that uh, which company i have got uh, which project at which location and you can uh, 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 you know you can uh, tell uh, that yes at this location i am available and from this date i can uh, join this so all these things also help sometime okay, okay. and uh, Sir, but, want, uh, okay. yeah So it's Just been let's... an year. I mean, a gap of one year. It will show in my resume from now onwards. So it is like, uh, no, no, much, no. I mean, companies are not really looking forward to people who are like, um, I mean, staying unemployed for so long, such a long period. So See, that's I think this will be a problem in my resume, right? No, that that's not an issue. See, even me after uh, experience, also we sometimes uh, stay low in the industry. That's not an issue. and uh, see covid also happened so uh, because of covid uh, majorly civil companies were totally uh, we can say in a kind of lurch uh, so financially not uh, so uh, so well in condition uh, like uh, we can say that uh, if any uh, company is not having money in hand so from uh, if labor is not there labor is not doing the work so what engineers will also do so so so, 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 so some of these kind of problems were there in the last year and for gap thing don't take any tension about the gap okay or okay. not apply into civil engineering jobs you can and always apply to all jobs when you are a fresher whatever you are interested into apply into that not stick yourself be on nokri be on linkedin be on indeed any platform okay. you know any time you get to know be on to that platform and try to use see i know in current times we are using uh, see uh, in generally what uh, in it happens that people get easily job and soon uh, we see that uh, by in general uh, it what is happening that they are going to this place their team is so cool and this uh, in civil all aged persons are there so these kind of differences will be there but civil is not that bad industry that uh, uh, i will say that that uh, one year is not a long time so that you can uh, you know b- build a whole idea about the civil engineering that's what i want to convey okay. or but Sir, yeah. also mm-hmm. yeah yeah also i am a female candidate so like mostly uh, companies don't prefer so would you say you need to continue into the civil only like to search opportunities because like i have seen in many companies that they prefer males over female candidates so see uh, uh, it's it's not like that i have seen you know many of my female coworkers who are working in industry for more than 10 to 15 years even uh, i was into one of the big mncs so even the who was the, uh, the design head was also a, a, a lady only so it's not like that that people do not consider but yes on sometimes preference is given to male on a project site because see they can't ask you to come at 11 pm okay. while concreting is going on so okay. they you ha yeah, so you try to learn only not capable of you are capable okay of sir please please name few like actual uh, softwares or skills which i should learn See, so that uh, uh, yeah, yeah prime vera you have learned no sir not prime vera right msp msp i know yes msp yeah so if you know msp so try to you know uh, get in touch with the companies who are doing contract management thing so they okay. will be requiring msp uh, person okay, okay. primavera and msp i should like uh, improve ha uh, so small right. small contract management firm are there so they require these software or whenever okay. uh, in your linkedin profile also you write uh, that uh, i'm a fresher and having this this the 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 these skills okay or you try to indulge yourself and comment on the post of other people who are you know describing about the process of msp or something you know when people will get to know oh this person know this much so i can uh, linkedin pe apni presence show karo not just that be be on linkedin and sending message to everyone and anyone 
try to okay. uh, show the presence and try to show it wisely like you will be commenting something that is related to that part and people will be also interested into that okay to okay. aisa kuch karo uh, and uh, uh, not uh, you know restrain to uh, yourself on to construction also parallelly aap aur bhi kahin pe apply karo agar aapko wahan better opportunity milti hai aap move karo that's not an issue i am not saying that you should restrict yourself ki nahi abhi main yahi karunga ya yahi karungi aisa nahi hona chahiye you will you should be always open आप हमेशा ओपन रहिए हर चीज के लिए और इस चीज को कभी भी लेके मत मानिए कि यू आर हैविंग वन ईयर गैप टू ईयर गैप और रिसेंटली यू माइट हैव सीन न्यूज दैट ट्विटर के जो अभी जो हमारे सीईओ बने हैं ही इज फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड ही हैव आई थिंक फाइव और सिक्स गैप इन इज करियर टाइम राइट डोंट टेक दैट सीरियसली और अगर आपको थोड़ा सा आई टी की तरफ मन मन है या ज्यादा कुछ है तो डू एम बी ए और समथिंग एंड यू कैन गेट गुड अमाउंट ऑफ पैकेज ऑल्सो ओके एंड अबाउट गेटिंग Like, it... See, I I I generally don't suggest people doing PGDM because that will cost you also around sixteen to seventeen lakh rupees. Right, and, sir. Uh, yes. Yeah, and in return, generally you will be getting see placements are good at some uh, nick mark, but yes, that is also restricted to only two three nick marks only. If you get into them, that that is very good. Otherwise, don't go to nick mark. Okay. do some okay. mba into supply chain or something see supply chain is present all over the world aapke ghar mein jo bhi kuch aa raha hai flipkart in sab se that is all because of supply chain that is all because of procurement okay. to aap aisa yes. kuch nitty se kariye pgdm ya kuch kariye and you will be in good company with a good package also not not i will say if you do from nitty or something so not less than 10 lakh rupees that i can assure you Okay, like uh, neaty. Okay. Neaty, yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else want to discuss anything? It's a humble request. If you share or link, where can I? So then we'll help. As I know, we'll... no, no, no. Uh, I will make sure with pro trainee in that uh, they will provide you all the details. Yeah, uh, operation team, are you there? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. How is the general procedure? Like, uh, students are uh, want to ask me something later on also. So, what's uh, what's the general procedure? How they can approach me? Just please let me know. Oh, regarding this, okay, sir. I'll talk with my team and I'll text you. Sir. Okay. Ah, uh, you people, you guys, don't worry. Ah, uh, I will take care of that. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, sure. I will take care, Sufyan. That's not an issue. i will take care okay any other any other person uh, want to ask anything about uh, anything related to your career anything related to the procurement anything related to uh, will we receive certificate uh, for what so okay i think uh, we have already wrap up all the things and uh, all questions are also taken up uh, thank you for your time also All guys and I wish कि आप लोग बहुत अच्छी अच्छी जगह पहुंच जाए सब एंड सुन मे बी इन फ्यूचर ऑल्सो वी विल मीट एंड ओके थैंक यू थैंक्स अलॉट थैंक यू एवरी वन ऑपरेशन टीम आई कैन लीव नाउ ये सर यू कैन ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू Thank you sir. Thanks a lot. Thanks.